So what's a quadratic factor? It's when you have an x squared factor, an x squared group here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to break this down into its original fractions before we combine it into this fraction here. So we're decomposing it, breaking it down. And so what we're going to do is, this is already factored for us, the denominator. If it wasn't factored, you'd want to factor it first. Okay, but I've already factored it here for us. So what we have is x squared plus 2 plus x plus 3. Now because this is a second degree, we want the numerator to be one degree lower, so I'm going to write this as ax plus b. See, x to the first, this is x squared, this is one degree lower, and we go in descending order. Now, if this was a cubic term, then we would want ax squared plus bx plus c. So we'd go one degree lower and go in descending order until you get to the constant. This one's a linear factor, x plus 3, x to the first, so I'm just going to make this a constant c. You don't want to reuse any of the variables, so that's why I keep going a, b, c, d, e like that. So now all we're going to do is we're going to clear the denominators by multiplying by the common denominator. This is the common denominator here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the left and right sides, the entire equation, by x squared plus 2, x plus 3. If we do that, that's going to clear this denominator just leave us with 5x squared plus 10x plus 7 equals ax plus b times x plus 3 plus c times x squared plus 2. Okay, so now we've got it. Okay, we've cleared the denominators. Now what I'm going to show you in this particular video is a little bit different than I showed you in some of the other videos. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to foil out this right side here and we're going to get a system of equations and we're going to solve that system. So first let's foil this together. We're going to get ax squared plus 3ax plus bx plus 3b plus, distribute the c here, we get cx squared plus 2c. Now what I want to do is I want to group together the x squared terms. So we have ax squared plus cx squared. I'm going to group the x terms together. So we have 3ax okay, plus bx. Okay, and I'm going to group the constant terms together now, which those are just going to be 3b and 2c. So that's 3b plus 2c. Okay, and that equals 5x squared plus 10x plus 7. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor out the x squared. So that's going to be a plus c times x squared. Here I'm going to factor out the x, so that's going to leave us with 3a plus b times x. If you distribute the x back in, you get back the original here. And here I'm just going to leave this as 3b plus 2c. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set, see this is x squared, right? See this is x squared. We're going to set a plus c equal to 5. Okay, so a plus c equals 5. We're going to set 10, see 10x. Here is x. We're going to set this coefficient equal to this coefficient. So we have 3a plus b equals 10, and then the constant 7, we're going to set equal to this constant on the right side, 3b plus 2c. So we have 3b plus 2c equals 7. So now you can see what we have here is we have a system of equations. We're going to solve this system, and we're going to find our a, b, and c. So let's take a look at this system. So what should we try to eliminate here? Well, let's see, we've got a, a, okay, we've got b and b, we've got c and c. Okay, so what should we do to eliminate this? Why don't we multiply this first equation times negative 3, okay? So if we do that, we get negative 3a minus 3c equals negative 15. I'm going to add it to this equation here, 3a plus b equals 10. If we add those together, you can see the a's are going to cancel, and we get b minus 3c equals negative 5. Okay, so far so good. So now we're going to combine these two equations together. They just have b's and c's, okay, to solve for either b or c. So why don't we multiply this equation here times negative 3 and combine it with this equation. So if we do that, multiply by negative 3, we're going to get negative 3b 
plus 9c equals 15. So if we combine these together, we get 11c equals 22. So now we know c equals 2. If we take the 2 and we work our way back, let's put 2 in here, we get, well, we could put it into any one of the equations, really. If we know c is 2, let's put it into this equation. That means a must be 3. Okay, so now we know a equals 3. We just have to solve for b. Okay, if we know that a is 3, that's going to be 3 times 3 is 9, which means that b must be 1. Okay, so b equals 1. And now we have our a, b, and c. We can put those back in for a, b, and c here. And these are going to be our partial fractions. You can check your work. If you get a common denominator and combine these into one fraction, you can verify that you get back this original fraction. So this has been how to do partial fraction decomposition when you have a quadratic, meaning a second degree, factor. I'll see you in the next video.